Hey, I'm Brennan with Revzilla, and today we are checking out the Atlas Vision Net Collar, and of course, this is available at Revzilla.com. So the Atlas Vision Neck Collar. This is a bit more low profile than your typical neck brace, but it has a main focus on the overall compression, reducing those forces of compression to the spine. So a neck brace does that as well, but a neck brace has a bit more going on with the overall stabilization and helping with those lateral movements and things like that. This is more low profile in comparison, but to give you some stats here, the air neck brace from Atlas, that is an option. That's a full brace system. It's 330 bucks. This is the air neck collar. And to compare it to their brace system, Atlas did so. They found that this has 50% reduction of compression to the body, utilizing the D3O or to the spine, I should say. It's got 66% more range of motion and it is 45% lighter in comparison to their Atlas neck brace. So that's the major benefit that you're getting with something like this. You're still getting the protection, uh, when it comes to your spine, but it is very lightweight. You don't feel restricted in any way, shape, or form, um, and it is going to help with the overall comfort, I think. In my opinion, this is very, very comfortable. It sits very easily on your chest and gives you the protection you're looking for. It's coming in around 200 bucks as well, so it's a bit more or less costly in comparison to the $330 neck brace system. So there's some pros and cons to that, of course. Now, one of the major contributors to the overall 50% reduction uh, in compression forces on the spine is contributed to the D3O material that they have on the inside. You can actually remove this. You can see it's the strong Velcro, and they give you a few pieces inside the box as well. This is a bit thinner in comparison to the ones that we have attached right now, so you can fine tune that if you need to do so. They say that it needs to be about an inch and a half away from your helmet on the chest. And to throw this on, it's very simple. You have this red tab here, a little bit of aluminum right there. You throw it on over top of your shoulders. So as I mentioned before, this should be about an inch and a half below your helmet line. So you got those additional pieces on the inside of the box, so you can fine tune that very easily and make sure everything is fitting appropriately and very comfortably. Now these pieces are not included in the box. I think Atlas will have those on the site, so you can pick those up later if you need to do so and fine tune that, but I think it's more important around the shoulder area. Now when it comes to the overall fit, that's another important note we should certainly talk about. The fit itself, if you are wearing a large armored rig and this will not be sitting flat against your chest, you should take that into consideration when you're getting your measurements and referencing the sizing chart. So that is important to note there. There are plenty of armored rigs or armor plates or you know roost guards, things like that, that will allow this to sit directly against your chest and you still have that coverage because they're a little bit lower. But if you're like me, I have a Liat system that I utilize, so it's a little bit more bulky, a little bit more coverage. Uh, so that is something to take into consideration, again, if you're getting those measurements. So we have these tabs right here on the side of the neck collar itself. You're gonna get that on the left and the right, and that is designed to accommodate these straps. Those are gonna be included in the box. You're gonna get two of them, of course. These are just gonna slot in right here with those plastic tabs, very straightforward, and it's gonna go underneath the armpit of the opposing arm, just like that. So it's gonna have that kind of X pattern, and that just makes it nice and secure and stay on top of your chest uh, and shoulders. Um, personally, I wish these were a little bit more robust so I could kind of utilize them with other, you know, chest armor. For instance, I utilize my Liat stuff quite a bit, so it'd be nice if this was a little bit more bulky and I could somehow secure this directly to that neck brace system and kind of ditch these straps altogether. I think that'd be a nice iteration on the second generation of this Atlas neck collar. Not a deal breaker for me by any means, but it is something, if I had to nitpick something, I wish uh, these were a little bit more robust. They do pop off pretty easily as well, so over time, that might be a, a bit of a challenge down the road. But I like how lightweight this thing is, how comfortable it is. The range of motion is not restricted in any way, and it is very, very comfortable. So anyone looking to get into the neck brace system, maybe you've used it before and it just wasn't for you, perhaps you should take a closer look at the neck collar and get you know, that protection from the compression of your spine, um, but get something that's a bit more low profile, a bit more lightweight. Now, of course, if you have any additional questions for us, you can always reach out, give us a call at 877 9455 and you can speak to one of our gear geeks. If you're like most of the world today and you don't like talking on the phone, you can always shoot over an email, cs at revzilla.com, and get those questions answered by one of our gear geeks as well. Thanks for hanging out with us for a bit, taking a closer look at the Atlas Vision neck collar. I'm Brandon. Keep it pinned.